Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, back with another black and white Pokemon analysis. Today, we're going to be discussing the deep black Pokemon known as Zekrom. So let's get started by taking a look at its typing, ability, and stats. So first off, if you don't know already, Zekrom is the title legendary dragon from Pokemon White. And it's really freaking cool looking, I gotta say. But for its typing, it is that of Dragon Electric, which is some pretty cool typing, meaning that you're only weak to Ice, Ground, and Dragon, but you do resist quite a different things, or quite a lot of different things, such as Fire, Water, Grass, and Flying, and Steel. And you also four times resist Electric type moves as well, which is really cool. But its ability is known as Terravolt, which is basically the same thing as Mold Breaker, similarly to the way. Rashiram's ability is the same thing as Bold Breaker. So with this ability, you can hit things that are levitating with ground-type moves, hit things that have Volt Absorb with electric-type moves, hit things with water, or hit things with water absorb with water-type moves, etc. etc. But basically, it's just a cool ability to have and definitely useful. Again, this Pokemon probably will also be in the Uber tier if it isn't already. So I don't know how useful Terravolt would be in the Uber tier, but it could have a lot of different uses. But as for its stats, they're pretty much the same as Rashiram's in a sense, because the only thing different is they flipped the attack with uh, Rashiram's special attack and the defense with Rashiram's special defense. But basically you have 100 HP, 120 physical defense, and then 120 special defense, Meaning that you have some pretty good defenses and definitely, you know, something you normally see in the Uber tier. But with the 150 attack you have, you actually have the same power or attack wise as um, Rayquaza, which is really cool. And this Pokemon, obviously, being a different type with his Dragon Electric, gives you some different attacking moves to use as opposed to, you know, Rayquaza just using Outrage all over the place. But, but you also have 120 special attack, which is definitely usable and could definitely mean that you can do a bunch of damage from that side as well since you know this Pokemon can also learn a bunch of special attacking moves. The only downside though to this Pokemon stats is its 90 speed meaning that it probably will be outsped by quite a different or quite a lot of things in uber tier but it's still pretty good nevertheless and can definitely be useful. But with that let's take a look at the set I have for this Pokemon right now. So for this set, we're going to give Zekrom either a Jolly or Adamant Nature. Jolly will increase your speed and lower your special attack, whereas Adamant will increase your physical attack and lower your special attack. So it depends on whether or not you want speed or power. As for the ability, though, we're going to go with Terra Volt because it is the only ability it gets, and it is the only Pokemon that gets this ability to begin with. As for the EVs, though, we're going to put 4 into HP to give it one more point for that stat, 252 into attack to give it its max or highest physical attack that it can get with the nature you choose and the same goes for speed with 252 EVs into that. As for the item though, we're either going to be using a Lumberry as a way to get rid of statuses and things like that, confusion as well, or we're going to be using a Choice Scarf to give us a nice speed boost even though it locks us into one move. But since this Pokemon is as powerful as Rayquaza is, um, Definitely having a Choice Scarf is very beneficial on any team in the Uber tier. So it could definitely wreak havoc on a ton of different Pokemon that your opponent may have. But as for its first move, it is known as Lightning Strike, which is one of this Pokemon's signature moves. And it has 85 base or 85 accuracy, 130 base power, and it also it has a 20% chance to inflict Paralysis. So it's a really awesome signature physical move that this Pokemon gets and is definitely very powerful and can do a lot of damage to different things. Also with this though, we have Lightning or sorry, Cross Thunder, which is another signature move that this Pokemon gets, but in my opinion it's not nearly as useful because it has less base power and it only doubles in power if your opponent is using Cross Flame on their Rashiram and since uh, Rashiram resists electric type being a dragon type it's kind of useless to be using that move. You would go with your second move, Outrage, instead to pretty much take it out with your massive power. 
But yeah, Outrage is your second move. By the way, this is set is completely physical except for Volt Change, but that is essentially your U-turn since this Pokemon doesn't learn U-turn. But Volt Change is a good way to scout as well as outspeed people and just switch out if you need to because if it's an, uh, not a favorable matchup for you or things like that. And then lastly, we're going to be using Crunch since another or a good majority of Pokemon in the Uber tier are weak to Dark such as, you know, all the Deoxys and things like that, Mewtwo, Mew. I don't know if Mew is anymore, at least at the time this video is being made, but it probably will go back up to Ubers pretty soon. But um, other than that, that's pretty much the set. Um, as you can see, it has ridiculous physical attacking power with all of these moves, and with a Choice Scarf, it'll be ridiculously fast as well and be able to just wreck teams that aren't prepared for it. Um, I like it a lot though as a whole, like, Zekrom is probably at least the cooler of the two dragons in my opinion, but I'm still probably going to get Pokemon Black if any of you have been curious about that. But that is it for this analysis, so I hope you guys think this new legendary Pokemon is pretty awesome, because I do. So take care guys, and have a good day. Bye!